Okay, let's try this again. I ran out of memory, actually. I really gotta... Anyways, uh, I'll start this over again. Alright, on to the parts. Um, you got the bumpers here. Obviously, they need to be chromed and everything, but they're pretty straight. Um, you got all your brackets. Thanks, I think you do. Look like you do. Uh, I'm not sure what this panel here is for. Uh, must be something back, I'm guessing. I'm not sure, but it's there and it looks really nice. And I'm not sure what that is for offhand. Anyways. You got your radiator. Radiator should be restorable. Front side's pretty good. The back side has got just a wee bit of maybe da I don't know if it's sufficient damage to make it leak or not, but there is a little gouging there. Anyways, regardless, it looks like a pretty restorable radiator. Um on the other, oh fuck me. What the hell? Anyways, back to where we were. Alright, you got, I think it's original carpet. You got the wheels on them. There is one, two, I think I got three of the four or all, f I think maybe I got all four of the wheels. I'll have to double check. I know I got three of them. One of them's bent, so it's not going to do any good. But uh, let's go through the boxes here real quick. Um, can I do this? I'm going to have to. Um, you got your cool looking clock, an ashtray, which seems to be stuck at the moment. Something might be jammed in there. I'll try and free it up later. If not, well. Whoever buys it will have to do it. Must be your glove box. So you got the glass in there. All the glass, obviously, you could imagine. Like, usually, is all shot. So you have to... You know, they're good templates, anyways. Um, it looks like we got fog lights in here. Let's see. Okay, what do we got in here? Bumper guards. There we go, much better. Bumper guards. Bumper guards. Ooh, more bumper guards. Yeah, there we go. Looks like this car had fog lights equipped with it. Probably underneath the bumper, or uh, the top of the bumper. I'm not sure what model these are. They're probably Unities, or Guides. Um, no, these are, um, let's see, I think it says Chicago. Wasn't Unity from Chicago? Anyways, yeah, you got your fog lights, glass, bumper guards, glove box door, which has a clock and ashtray in it, and glove box itself. You got the wheel, another box full of windows. You got your vent windows, your regulators, your window channels. I'm not going to try pulling pull on anything in there. It looks like that's pretty much all it is. There might be other stuff buried in there, but it looks like your door handle. Yeah, there are your door handles. See if I can grab one without cut myself on glass. Eh, eh, no, I can't. Door handles are in there. I'm not sure what this is for, if it's for the headliner or if it's for the uh, rear seat. Because that's one thing I noticed I think is missing is the rear seat. That's the only thing I don't really see. You got your uh, window channel for the front window. It does have a little bit of rust damage that will need to be repaired, but otherwise really nice. I'm not sure it's in the tube. Um, it's a part. Ordered on eBay. I'll have to look at that in a little bit here. You ordered something for it. Um, you got your rear grab bar with ashtray, which is neat. And there's a broken key in there. It needs to be re-chromed, obviously. Um, you got Looks like a gnarly old looking, kick ass looking speaker. Yeah, that's pretty neat looking. Obviously, we need to be totally restored. Not sure if that's something original from GM or if that's just a uh, 
must be a bracket for it, or if that's something aftermarket, but you get that. I'm not even sure it's in this box. There we go. That's quite the box. Hardware. Yeah. Door hardware, it looks like. All kinds. Each door, it looks like, got, had its own bag. Yeah, hardware. Dome light. Oh, that's a cool looking dome light lens. It's not broken either. It's got the same pattern as the steering wheel does. Oh, that's neat. And the wood's in nice shape too. Okay, so there's your dome light stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Battery's dying. Um, fenders are pretty good. They're really straight, not too much damage. Again, they just have a little bit of rust damage where, like, it, where on the car it's rusted through, but the fenders aren't quite as bad, but you might have to do a little bit of steel repair. Um, I'll have to cut, probably make this go a little quicker here. You got uh, the running boards. Overall, pretty solid. Somebody did a little patch panel right there on top, but otherwise... Very nice looking running boards. Um, all the fasteners and the rest of the hardware is all in these labeled bins that is included, obviously. Um, so everything should, all your fasteners, for the most part, should be in there. Um, you got your front nose cone piece, which is in beautiful shape. I'm sure that's a good chunk of change just for that piece alone. Um, and here you got, looks like just interior stuff, mostly stuff probably for patterns. There might be some stuff you got to use. It looks like there's a window curtain there. One of the roll up kind. But that's, I'm not going to dig through that. That's probably just all your interior fabrics and stuff like that. Um, you got your rear view mirror, some vents. Looks like mainly just dash parts. Um, yeah, it looks like seat tracks maybe in there too. A window crank. Yep. In this box, oh, some more glass, your quarter windows, and garnish moldings. I'm not sure what that centerpiece is for. Looks in nice shape, though. And then you got your deck lid here. Overall, really nice looking. Um, not too much for damage, actually, really. There's a bee on there. That's well, dead now. Oops. Yeah, the inside is really nice in this. Of course, you got your other running board. I'm not sure what that thing is. It goes all the way across. Same thing on the other end. But uh, then you also get your, all your garnish moldings. Um, laying there. You got all, a lot of your trim in this box here. Um, hubcaps, pillar trim. Uh, looks like more window tracks. Looks like some brake parts in there too. Just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Looks like some wiper motor stuff in there too. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of little trim also included in them. Um, yeah, bumper, defroster vents, strap, X. Yeah, you probably got a little, little of everything in there. And here you got this one here. I'm probably gonna go through real quick. And here's a second here. Um, then you got your seat frame. The front seat frame actually looks really nice. You could really reuse that wood. Um, yeah. More trim, obviously. A lot more trim. Yeah, your headlight rings. Looks like fender. Oh, there's your uh, stop lights. You got your uh, heater, or is that your radio? That'd probably be. That must be your radio. There's your radio. The head unit's still in the car, I think. How much like battery lasts out here? Yeah, there we go. 
That is neat. That is too cool. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Yep. That is pretty tits, actually. Uh, I think it's a bear and a half. Um, Oldsmobile. Light tube. Deluxe. Twin speaker. Huh. Quite the radio. Oops. And then looks like you got a little more trim in here. Come on. Open up. Open up. Open up. Your headlights. Um, wood ornament. Uh, looks like that's probably all that's in here. Oh, ooh, pretty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at them. That is nice. That is nice. Is the other one in here? Oh, yeah, right here. Herp derp. Yeah, that, oh, boy, them are big dollars right there. Um, anyways, so, yeah. Um, that's probably really about it. Again, I mean, it's definitely a project worth investing in. Um, it's definitely a nice car. Too nice to part out. Uh, that's what my original intent was, but after seeing it, I'm like, no, it ain't gonna happen. I'd rather just flat out sell it. So, um, I don't have a title for it. I got a bill of sale. I can get a title for it. Um, if, and if that's the case, whoever wants to buy it, they just gotta cover the cost involved with getting the title, which isn't that much. Be, I don't think it'd be more than 150, 200 bucks at tops. Um, anyways, um, I'd prefer, uh, to ship this internationally, but obviously anybody with the cash will get it. Um, and if you are an international buyer, you know, I'll try to help and assist with shipping and whatnot as much as I can. So, anyways. God, them are cool gauges. And that steering wheel. That's a really nice looking steering wheel. Um, nice banjo. So, anyways, that's the uh, 37 Olds up for sale. Got any uh, questions or whatnot, don't be afraid to message me or whatever. And uh, go on from there. So, alright.